Hello friends, in this video we will demonstrate the synthesis of 2,4-dihydroxyacetophenone from resorphenol using an hydrozinc chloride and glacial acetic acid. For this experiment you will need 30 grams of anhydrous zinc chloride, 30 grams of glacial acetic acid and 20 grams of resorcinol. The anhydrous zinc chloride that I had with me was a bit old stock, so it was all moist and pasty. So I had to make it anhydrous again. For that I transferred around 50 grams of the zinc chloride to a 250 milliliter beaker. The beaker was then heated with occasional stirring. After few minutes on heating on high heat, the beaker was then cooled. This gives us an hydrous product. Thirty grams of this fused zinc chloride was transferred to another 250 milliliter beaker and a stirring bar was placed in it. Now thirty grams of glacial acetic acid was added to it. With strong stirring, the zinc chloride dissolves in glacial acetic acid. After the solution turns clear, 20 grams of pure resorcinol was added to the beaker. Stirring and heating was done. The solution was heated to 150 degrees C and maintained for few minutes. The reaction that is occurring here is shown in the screen. Resorcinol in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride and glacial acetic acid forms 2,3-dihydroxyacetophenone. After a few minutes, heating was stopped and the beaker was allowed to come to room temperature. When the contents are cooled down, it is poured into around 300 ml of ice called 2% hydrochloric acid solution in water. Immediately, deep yellow-brown precipitate of the crude product crashes out. If it did not give precipitate for you, try vigorous stirring of the contents. Still, if the precipitate does not come out, cool it in a fridge for few hours. Once the precipitate is formed, it is vacuum filtered. The crude product was then washed with some ice cold water. This is the crude product after filtration. It was then scraped off from the glass Buchner funnel and was added to a diluted sodium hydroxide solution. The crude product dissolves in dilute sodium hydroxide solution to give a deep red solution. The solution was then poured into around 500 ml of ice cold water. This also causes the temperature of the water to rise. The product got dissolved in the hot solution. On cooling down, beautiful needle shaped crystals of the pure product was formed. It was later vacuum filtered and dried. The final product after drying is 9.5 grams and this is the practical yield. The theoretical yield is 11 grams. So the percentage yield is 86%. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I'm able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.